Just go. Okay, Ready? just go, 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 go. Okay, you're shotgunning a game field blue one to be exact. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo. It's not done. <laughs>
in the major two final against Toronto Ultra. And they brought it back throughout stage three. And Arsenis, he led the league in the overall KD category. And he's just flowing with confidence right now. 100%. And, uh, you know, one of the curses of maybe being a team like Optic and the brand and the players that it has is, you know, sometimes maybe you'll get phased, not 100% locked in and not going to be completely on top of things. But when you're playing a team like Optic and you are the players that are on phase, like they're going to bring it 100%. Yeah, and we actually have a very interesting map set here. Uh, you get Moscow, which is great for both teams, and Control Raid, which is really good for both teams. But because of the new maps, right, you have Standoff that's going to be vetoed. So you have a Miami Search and Destroy, which neither team is really great at. You have an Express Search and Destroy, which is neither team is really great at. So it's some interesting maps. Even Apocalypse, uh, Atlanta's played a lot of it. They're three and five. In Chicago, they're one and two. So just the way these vetoes worked out, we had some really strong maps for these teams, but then some off maps where we usually don't see them that often. Does it feel like this is a series that comes down to the searches or where does it get decided for you? Ooh, um, I'm looking at this first hard point and raid control. Okay. as uh, maybe the deciding factors. I mean, obviously it could go to like a game five, but those two are kind of the, the beefy boys, I, I would say, because it's where both teams have a lot of repetitions. Lena Faye is on this map, eight and one. Chicago, seven and four. As you said, some good maps for either squad. Uh, team kill to start things off, not what you want. Envoy is going to get picked off by a Simtex from Scum, but... And at least Dashy able to locate a kill, but we'll see if that team kill is really going to punish them. It seems like for the most part, they've survived it. A BC does end up getting through, but you know, there's not, I was worried there'd be a clean, a clean wipe and push and flip, honestly, after the team kill, but it's not as bad as it could have been. Yeah, not as bad as it could have been, but still, you don't have a lot of map control. Dashy does spawn out. You have two players working low street now, right now for Atlanta phase. You know, they've, Opsi has made sure they've always had someone inside of Laundry in this position, but this is basically a 2v3 towards the back. Formal able to take down two. It's going to be Scump versus our cities for back street control, and RC is able to win it. Such a strong spot. He turns that into two as well. Atlanta phase. They're able to get 26 points off the start. Some scrap time going to go the way of Chicago, but now you have a lot of great position. He continues five in a row for our cities. I mean, Skump got him so weak, and then that position was just nuts. The fact that he ends up on a five streak, just unbelievable. And you mentioned his dominance in the last stage. Looks like he's trying to pick up right where he left off. You've got numbers right now on the hold if you are phase, and it might be some early streaks. Six now in a row, four arsities. And who do you have pushing through mid already just trying to stagger it? It was a BZ, but he will get caught. And, and that's just one of those streak. moments, right? There's the streaks, but, you know, that trade, if it's a little bit more effective, this doesn't happen. You have someone at P2 with some control. Maybe it gets messy, but you don't have the streaks. And that's just one that, you know, obviously going to go back and look at, be frustrated with, because this game could be a blowout here soon with those streaks, with the positioning. And he's going to go for the cruise missile, trying to call the couple of players all the way towards the back. He's gonna let Sim know he's not seeing anything right now. That means they're all the way back library. Well, the call comes in, they get three. The last player alive will drop an envoy, four down, point control to phase. It was clean. And early streaks, how huge they can be. But look at the control you've got right now. If you are phase, already 20 seconds off of this point and really optics starting to get their first push on. Yeah, I mean, because you had four <laughs> clean dead, you had uh, BZ all the way pushed up towards top escalators, right? They knew the position that they were in, and you're not even getting an attempt here. You might be able to contest a second, but no, now Cell's on a five spree. Dashi at least is able to have that trade, but you don't get to contest until 20 seconds left. Is Atlanta Faze able to just use that momentum, use that streak, and get all the information to find those kills? So, Arsene's streak started about, I think, around 40 seconds in first. 40 seconds into first, and he just died at the end of third. That, that's kind of wild. I mean, that, just that stretch without dying. Yeah, well, he didn't have to fight anyone there for a little bit, too, but <laughs> yeah, over to true, true, our true. game field <laughs> feature player. Dashy, this could be a, a moment, though. Can they get back into it? RC still has that artillery if he wants to use it. 
Seems to have gotten much better at this bus hill. This is where they've been able to earn a lot of time. And maybe to stop some momentum for Optic. Where RCs will want to use it. Just regain map control. But it looks like they're going for a very wide 2-2 pinch. Get BZ's position. RC's going to spawn up with him. Well, Optic, they go in an early hole. It was dominant from phase, but this is where you have to try and answer back. While we're on with our Game Fuel feature player, let's get right to an Astro Listen-In with Optic Chicago. So we Take it, take it, I do. Wait, I have your help, I have your help, too. One shot, uh, he's hurt, hurt, hurt. He went up as he's, up as he's able. Abe, up as he's weak. I'm playing through, I'm playing through, I'm playing through. He's got globe or some shit? Yeah, top globe, top globe. He's like right. Alex, right No, nice. Eskies, Eskies, Mundo. Flashing tree. Mid window, you said. Yeah. Mid window helps out. Go finder. Go finder. Go finder. Go finder. Mid window. I will. I will. Excuse me, window on me. Mid window. Mid window. Mid window. I'm in bottom. Yo, Abe is on hill, mate. I have your right. Yo, street Alex. Yo, street Alex. Mid window. Yo, you're back to B search. I'm back to B search. He's challenging you. Challenging. Uh, we spawn. We spawn mid. We spawn mid. Yeah, I'm gonna go Eskies. Hill, Sim. One shot. One shot. Eskies. We can time. We can time, Sim. Okay, let's try to contest this. Yo, yeah, take it, I'm one shot time. I need help. I have your right. I have your right. I have your right. Mike, right. 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 left. Right, or B. And one shot. Nice, two. One more on right side hill, Sim. Turn around, turn around, turn around. One good window, Barley, or. Nice, right there. Let's go, Bell. Let's go, Bell. Window, window, window. Yeah, yeah, I'm in. They're spawning here again. They spawn here again. Yeah, go through. I'm hitting Barley. Yo, shoot, shoot, shoot. Get time. Get time. I'm getting time. I'm getting time. Back PD, A. Get time, get time. Look at PD for Dill. A Where was PD? Street? Yeah, he was backside there, Street. He probably rotated, he probably rotated. What could be glass? Yeah, side he's, he's globe, globe and glass, globe and glass. Go bottom PDA, bottom PDA. Nice. Bottom PDA, bottom PDA, bottom PDA, bottom PDA, bottom PDA. There's two deep street, two deep street. I got one more deep street. Help through, help through, help through. Help through, help through, help through. Yeah, I'm staying alive here. One's in PDA, one's in PDA, the other guy's back street. In hill, Alec. I don't see cube, Alec. Side door, side door. I don't see the guy in cube, Alec, cube, Alec, one shot, cube, Alec, one shot. Go in the yellow cube, one shot. Take one shot, PDA. Hey, Abe's in B-Search. I'm going from, I'm going from, I'm going from. Come from yeah. me, though? Nah, I'm going from. Yo, no, what B-Search push me? That's him, that's him. I'm going from, I'm going from, I'm going from. Abe oh. weak, Street, bro. Abe, okay. and BSND, BSND weak. Come on, mid right now. Uh, I'm responding, I'm responding, P1. On time, dead. Keep up, Vector, 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 I think a lot of times when we talk about what a nuisance of easy can be, we're like seeing it from Faze's POV as he's flying. You got a good example of it from the opposing team's POV there. I mean, there's just a lot of these scenarios where I think, you know, if you're an opposing team, you think they're just going to get into a setup, you have time to heal, and who's the guy just running through the door finding three kills? It's a BZ. I, I mean, you know, he, he just makes some of these gunfights look easy. They're not easy. Uh, it's just why he's such a talented player, but he takes the fight to them at times when they don't expect it. Now, Optics, they're going to have to force to rotate on over, but you still had the artillery in the back pocket. That will open up the front of the hill. The spawns, the kills going the way of Optic. And that is huge. They survived that streak. They desperately need time. 40 seconds remaining. Can they accrue all of it? Scump is trying to hold the front push. He's at least able to take down one. And Envoy still surviving. The hold there as well. We go right over to Abizi. These are looking to set up this next opening. There's only 25 seconds left or so, but it looks like they want to take another stab at this. Scump and Envoy once again, finding the kills and trying to get it going. Envoy's 19 and 15. He's on six in a row. He's got a chance to get some streaks. Scump uh, maybe starting to come alive a bit too. I think he was around double negative. Well, he was around like, yeah. It, it hasn't been a great map for Scump, but even in that listen, and you can kind of hear some of his frustrations. Uh, just nice. how, well, having to take some one-on-ones against Abizi, and Abizi was winning them. But only down 70. He's able to get the artillery. Can he find the crews? And, you know, they have a setup here at bus. Like, this is an opportunity for Optic to bring it back within 20. If Optic can make the run, and T2P can turn it around. They're both sitting at 8-16, and 16, just trying to catch fire. Over to our game field feature player in Dashy. His phase have gotten back into the point, so that moment... Where it looked like Optic can make a rally, it didn't survive long. I know no one's soaking up time at the moment, but it's not going to be a nice extra 30, 40 points. Is Celium just locking down street with a BZ? They're able to combine to take down all four. Just too easy. Well, and they find those skills and look what they do, right? They flip the map. Now at this P1 setup, you're going to have Atlanta phase on the side of the map that they want. They're finding the kills. They're forcing Optic to have to work all the way across the map. You know, I was wondering if maybe Envoy gets into a position, he would try to use that artillery. I'm not able to do so, and now they need a break here and try to push on through. He still has a cruise missile to work with, so he did earn both. But, I mean, 
since that moment, it's just been all Atlanta phase in the kill feed. Yeah, no, I mean, he's got, he just sees the ping too. He's got the streaks to work with. It's just, is the deficit too much? And we've seen some really crazy comebacks here. You can string together a lot of hard points. They're going to need to do it. Now the artillery. He does get one. RCs will drop. They haven't been able to flip yet, but they're at least getting the time. Making sure the face can't inch any closer to this victory. And Celium is just finding kills and flurries. 20 and 12 yeah. now on three in a row. And I think it's just like Envoy want you want to use those streaks that like when you can, right? You want to use them at times where you're really owning the map to, to rotate, to flip a spawn. To, to win the next hill. They just haven't been able to do that. Envoy was hoping that the bus hill goes well. Then they can use one of those streaks at P1. Right? If they're able to win that bus hill, be down 20 or 30, they can use the streak at P1 to flip to P2. But that doesn't happen. Atlanta phase, they dictate the pace of the map by winning all of those gunfights afterwards. And as you said it, now the deficit is just too big. Yeah, I mean, they get a decent streak use there in the sense he gets two and they get into the point. There's still one lurking in the back, but... Yeah, it's just you're still you're still down a hundred. Scump now getting going. Dashy finds one as well. And they pull off the improbable behind this rally. This is where you just wish maybe you had one more streak. <laughs> so you can transition out of this and maybe get a quick break at third. That's what I mean, right? You want to be the one dictating when you can use those. On the other side, though, is Atlanta phase because they were so close to winning, they forced his hand. He had to use both of them to get them off the, the first and the second hill. And well, on rotation, he's able to find one. They got to go. 14 seconds until Atlanta phase close out on this map number one. It's just going to be Dashy and Scump until the rest of their teammates can get there, but they're going to get shut down. In phase, they start out hot. They get streaks early. It's a nine streak from our cities that makes the noise in the beginning of the game, and they take it. 250 on the board, 157 for Optic, and it was dominant from the get-go. I mean, in RCs, he was so impressive early, but I, I think Cell might have had like four different five sprees. Uh, I felt like he was working towards streaks more often than not. Well, that's what made them so scary throughout stage three. Like, obviously, you still have Simp and Abizi, which is fantastic, but... It was really the ARs, uh, especially on a slaying level that have just stepped up since that second major, since that loss. Those two have been playing at an incredibly high level, and they've been so consistent. Yeah, I think if your optic gear is hoping, you know, for the for formal and scump, they you know they both start out double, triple, negative. Uh, they started to heat up a little bit as the map went on, but it was just too late. Just hope maybe that was a flat start for them. They got into a groove later in the map, and then they'll bring it the rest of the series, but. Yeah, it was just, I mean, it just started out poorly. You had the team kill from Scump, so it ended up being quick hard point control and a flip about 20 seconds later for FaZe. You got the nine spree on RCs right away to get streaks to make it even more difficult. It's just before you knew what was going on, it was like an 80 point hole. Yeah, I mean, it's just the RCs trade, right? The, those streaks to me, that's a, that's a huge moment. And then that bus hill, when Envoy finally gets going, when the momentum finally starts to shift in favor of Optics way, uh, Atlanta phase. They get the break. They get up to over 200 points. That forces Envoy to use those streaks. Phase. They're loving the map one victory. The boys in control early. Up 1-0. Continuing their dominance after the major three victory. We'll head to search and destroy after the break.
Call of Duty League is brought to you by GameFuel. Unlock a CDL team pack with any purchase on GameFuel.com forward slash CDL while supplies last. Offer ends on August 31st. Tournament audio and team listen-ins are powered by Astro Gaming, the official headset and mix amp of the Call of Duty League. As players are getting prepped to hop into the map too, we're gonna get right into our game field keys to victory and talk through some of the biggest points for these teams. And we're gonna start it off with Atlanta phase. Yeah, surprise, surprise, BZ, he was uh, the difference maker in stage three, search and destroy 1.88 in their wins, 0.65 in their losses. But can he keep that going? And you see the difference here. s &D needs to be a major focus for this team. And majors one and three when they won, their overall record 23 and seven. When they lost the second stage, it's four and seven. And our cities, we talked about it. He can continue to play his game. He's just been so good recently. Yeah, I think he only ended up like 2018, considering the nine streak. But it it set the pace, right? It set the tempo for that game early on. And he's dancing now. That's how things are going for our cities. As he knows he's playing well. <laughs> he knows he's getting the gas. And now we'll start to talk about the other end of it uh, for Optic Chicago, how they're going to come in here and get a victory. They've been improving as of late. Joe, how can they get it done? Well, Scump and, Scump and Envoy have, have really, I mean, stepped up their level. Uh, we saw it against Rocker uh, in that 3-0 sweep. They were plus 26, but even at the major, uh, Scump and Envoy both in Search and Destroy really thrived. And then why in that SD map pool? I mean, fact is, his checkmate was one of their best. Standoff could become their number two uh, alongside Moscow, but, well, guess what? Atlanta phase, they vetoed that map, so we're not going to see that one today. That's why we're going to Express. And continue the balance play since the loss to Atlanta they are 12 and 4 in map count their only loss is that game five with Toronto Ultra so you take those three maps away and it's been like what uh right around and almost perfect for them I mean they've just really hit a new level just these top teams competing with them you love to have a W get some momentum on their side and that's going to be interesting. You know, I think most of us kind of celebrated the fact that Standoff is back in. As you know, I think everyone kind of loves that map. But for the teams that were good at at Checkmate Search, it kind of adds more work, right? You got to you got to find something. It has to be Standoff, or you know, one of the maps maybe you weren't good at previously. Yeah, and I mean, Standoff. What we saw Optic win that one. Atlanta Phase. They they got smoked on it. So maybe just yeah, with yeah. this match, they didn't want to play it. So uh, Express is open. You see it there. It hasn't been a great map. Uh, Atlanta phase, we know that they were very, I guess, stubborn is the way with uh, Apocalypse and Express and really trying to force it as much as possible to, to get those repetitions. So they have the practice, but they're three and six, not the best record, two and two for Optic. Yeah, I was kind of surprised not to see standoff is, uh, yeah, they seemed last stage just, if it was a new Yeah, app, no, I thought for sure they were going to play it, but I think, run it, run it. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know, they got 6 0 it didn't look great. You know, no, it didn't. It didn't at all. Uh, BZ able to get the trade, but it is a first blood for Scump. And that bomb will get planted. Action. Yeah, you love to see the far out. Thing hits like a hammer. But now a 3v3 retake for FaZe. Well, Dash, he gets a ton of info there. He's able to spot two. That's your teammate. <laughs> My man's <it's> turned. <laughs> Whoa! It's a 16 HP, but stays up for now. Just around 20 seconds to go. Gotta find an opening. BC will drop. Good positioning there from Formal. Selling him with a kill. Two versus two. Just running out of time now. It's all gonna be on to Envoy. One versus two. 10 seconds to go. Good finesse to get back up top. They're on it though. The slide out, the kills, and Envoy clutches up to close out the round one. Huge play out of Envoy. I, I mean, they spread them apart and they find those kills. But right here, there's 10 seconds left. He has the time to regain health. And then when you pause right there for a second or two, it forces them to pick an angle. When you don't repeat right away, Cell has to take a guess. Is he going top? Is he going to repeat down low? He just gets to his health. He's able to slide on out. And then with that slide, he takes down the bomb diffuser. Able to find that second as well. Beautiful stuff from Envoy. Yeah, good pressure in play, or good play considering the pressure was on. From Envoy, around one to Optic. Uh, they're so turnt they forgot about the bomb. Oh, it's a pace around. It's bait. Carsey's is going to throw a stun. He's going to throw a stun <laughs> make sure nobody's there. Uh, or someone okay. else so they've, got the, no. they've got the bomb now. Uh, if you're not aware in Search and Destroy, that is a big part of it. Oh, 
I was just looking at the mini-map, like, they were all, like, at mid-map. I'm like, all right, well, so they're going to realize it eventually. <laughs> yeah, but look at this play. So they know uh, off the early B hit, it's going to be a quick rotation for Optic. And they just go through mid-train and, and take the cross. Dashy was the one player staying at A. He saw a player that gives them the call out. All right, it's an A hit. They're probably going to give the bomb, right? Nope. Atlanta phase. They just cross the tracks. They look both ways. They get the bomb planted. Now for Optic. Have to retake here. A BZ and Tell on both catwalks. I thought a BZ was gonna find one, but it turns out Dashy and Formal finding the early picks. BZ gonna get laid out as well. RC's need will hit. Two versus three now for phase. Here come Optic. Simple drop. Last guy is RC's. They will soar out the headshots through on everybody. Back to back rounds for Optic. They're playing some great search and destroy. I really thought a BZ and Cell were going to find like two or three there in that transition period. And they actually end up with none because they had a crossfire. Obviously, it's the 74U, but we know that thing can do damage. And then with you see where the bomb is planted, right? Arsides and Simp down low, they kind of have to take fights right away with the position. Because it was planted on, on the front side of the bomb towards Optic. So you don't have that angle. They got to get aggressive. And with the numbers, Optic with a nice retake. And it was kind of simple and subtle, but just nice kind of position and movement there from Skump to avoid getting ripped by our cities. Able to help his team with the first fight and then reach out. He drops there. That might go a little bit differently. And it's just a simple strafe to get behind cover, but, you know, sometimes you chow that fight. He doesn't. Nice play to get the win. Now back over to offense we go. 3-0 start for Envoy. And offensive teams really getting patient because, you know, we see so many retakes. And what do defenses try to do? They try to cheat, right? You don't see anything at B. That means it's probably an A hit. So they, they hit the flank right away to try to get map positioning. So what offensive teams are doing are playing very slow in, in the spawn and trying to catch if anyone gets aggressive. Well, you're going to have one player on an island and it's selling. We've seen him in this spot so far. Can he find a kill? Looks like they're going to back away. That whole time, RC has just been lurking. Optic, you know, they wrap it to B, they wrap it back. He's just been tucked away here in a corner, just waiting for the setup to come through. Now there's only 30 seconds on the clock, and Optic have got to go. Some help here in the form of a BZ now. And RC has taken over this round by himself. There's three looking for the ace. Scuffle will make sure that doesn't happen, but it will be a phase round victory. And, I mean, it's a great job, right? I mean, they stay in the 2-2 split, which we, we have seen 2-2 splits kind of just not work. You can get picked apart if, if it's a four-man hit. Uh, you had Simp and Cell on one side, Abizi and RCs on the other. And just with a couple of off angles, RCs with that 74U able to connect on to three. I think he had a little help with the last guy. <laughs> one bullet him, basically. Yeah, yeah, a lot of help, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Well, this time they got the bomb right away, so that's a that's a good start to the offense. But it looks like they are massively waiting on some over-aggression from Optic. Or it's just going to be a delayed hit to B, because they're starting to work out. Here they go. Formal, he's going to get isolated. There's a swarm flying at him. Through the catwalk push, it is Arsides. Nice nade. Good damage in. Optic, they are just dropping now. Skump going to be the last guy up, and there is a swarm of phase in front. They ran through them there. And, and that's one of the, the examples of when you kind of have two players stay, because they stay in a 2-2 split. Uh, you have da or on Envoy and Formal. They have to transition across. It's Skump and Dashy down low. The first blood comes in, or maybe it's Formal there first, and he gets picked. But then you have to rotators come in. They're trying to help Skump out because he's all by himself. If you're going to stay in, stay in that 2-2 split setup, you have to be able to at least find a kill or two so your teammates can get to you. Yeah, you just saw how difficult that looked for Formal. I mean, he was the guy that was going to get it, and he was just getting shot from what felt like everywhere. Simp is able to at least get one as he gets isolated. Dashing his first kill on the map, and it's their turn to run through him. 
Oh, okay. I thought he needed one more bullet. Maybe that turned into a one versus one, but formal able to finish the fight and uh, similar rounds back to back as either team get aggressive. Yeah, you take the express brawl, as I like to call it, down at B. Everybody just flying down those terminals. And yeah, I mean, you know, object, they get those first picks. They have the numbers then. And when Atlanta phase is all there, you, you were waiting on maybe one player to work that flank. That was RCDs, but someone picks it up. A nice round by Optic. No, they just take it right to him. All right, maybe no brawl this time. Optic, we're ready. Maze they're didn't feel ready like for it. it. They're going yeah, for they, it. Yeah, they were ready. <laughs> Bring it here again. No 2-2 two -two split. They just stack it. So now we'll see kind of that default A retake. This will be a fast plant from FaZe. They got one watching the flank push through. A BZ has got pushed up the lurk mid. And he catched somebody. Here's the trophy. And that's going to be a freebie. The reach shall out. Scump able to take that. Will that give them a chance of the round? Because Arcee's also on the kill feed. Now Arcee's out of it. They bring it back to a two versus two. Just the time. Time's the problem here again. On these retakes, it's just been so tough for the defensive teams. Formal is on it, but it's almost a deja vu with Envoy's position cell. He's just going to slide on down. Nine seconds left. He knows he only needs one kill, and he finds him. Yeah, just do, we, do they feel that they each need to replicate like a round from the other team? <laughs> yeah, well, that, but, but that round though it is all set up by the face precedent before that because they were playing so patiently and they wrap back to B early on in the game. There was no four man transition from B to A from Optic, right? Three stayed. The only player that wrapped back was Dashy. That allows a BZ to get inside the train, right? Because they, they did a very fast wrap earlier in the game. Optic was being patient, and they did not go on that rotate until the bomb was planted. Well, this time, RC just soars on in. Envoy able to trade on one, but he gets shot in the back immediately after, quickly, in his formal by himself in a one versus three. We'll see if he can make the play. Hey, he's got just so much work. The bomb's down. You have Cell, who in himself can be probably the, the hardest kill in the, in the CDL. Uh, I think he's going to get spotted, wrap on back. Yeah, you see Simp and Abizi, both their arrows look this way. But now that he's spotted, it's going to be difficult. And Abizi, a bullet or two, and he's away with his life. And they're a bit spread. You might be able to get a couple one-on-ones, but now time's starting to dwindle. Under 30 to go. He's just looking to find any kind of opening. And they're just not giving it to him. Abizi from the top office has the position, puts FaZe back out in front, up 4-3. I mean, now if I'm Optic in this position, I mean, they retook B already. I, I just, you know, maybe you start off 4-B early on because they, they won that, that team fight earlier. But I think if you think they're going A, just stay as a 4. Just play the retake if they wrap back to B, no problem. We'll, we'll just see what they decide to do because... I think last time they tried to maybe overthink it times, keep a couple of players back. It is going to be a low B hit. And they might end up having to play a retake, and that's what's going to happen. Scump's going to get quite a bit of information now in the form of a stun to his face. His duo and formal rotates over and gets the first blood. Scump's just got to try and stay alive. Three-man hit towards the ramp. They're going to be ready for it. A flurry of kills. Who comes out on top? It's going to be a one versus one. And of course, it's Arcides who takes the fight and clutches up the round for FaZe. Yeah, yeah they're, they're shooting the trophies. They're trying to get theirs down. But Dash and Envoy get, get caught with nothing. And then I think Scump is just trying to time it. Scump's trying to time it on the pinch through ticket booth where he can help his teammates. He ends up finding one. But at that moment... It was already a one versus two, and just not anything he's able to do. That's just a really great play by the main ARs of Atlanta phase. RC's and Cellium win them that round. Yeah, RC's now up to 11 and 6 after the great map one. Good first blood from Formal. They've got to rip off three straight rounds, and nice start to do so. And where do they opt to take this hit because obviously they don't have the eyes we do on the minimap but most of phase towards the a site one wrapping back 
is sell. And this, I was about to say, they might find an opening, but not going to happen. Formal picks up the read. Is that the bomb, though? Oh, no, 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 no. Sip is able to get two. It's gone. Starting to clutch up, though. Simp now for the ace in the one versus two. Puts it to a 1v1. Simp. Scump for the game. Ooh. Scump takes it, wins the one-on-one, -on -one, and survives a dagger ace from Simp to go out up 2-0. Well, I, yeah, I think he heard the pre-fire. I think Scump thinks he's in a different corner. I don't think you get a full... Well, I don't think he's able to regen the full uh, nah, he was on Simp. Full, just, yeah, Envoy, he flies out. And he gets gunned, but it, it's so close to him regening his full health. And you hear Scum just kind of shoot around the corner. Maybe he hears a call out, but the re-snap on to him, a nice one-on-one -on -one win. And Scum really bails him out of that 2v2. Yeah, because it was, what, a 4-on-2? 4v3 again, to kill I mid. think. Yeah. Well, it was a 4-on-3, then a 4-on-2, I believe. 4-on-2. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. An optic do it. Another round. Push this one the distance. It's gonna be a free and open bomb site. Arceus gets tagged a bit on the cross, but he's able to get here and get bomb planted. The swarm of optic now rotating across. It looks like there's gonna be a late pinch that's gonna develop from Simp. Is he gonna get there in time? His optic are flooding forward. This Keep isn't it on something they've done the yet. Yeah. And the pinch is going to work. Two will fall. You've got numbers now. One player left. It's going to be Scump. Got to be the hero again, and it's not going to happen. The flank from Simp. Enough to close it out. They get the game two victory. Go up 2-0. Yeah, it's just not something that they showed right yet in their arsenal. And even props to RCs because he's got a 74U in the bomb. Early on in that round, they three hit through lower B, but it's the, the middle push out of RCs. He knows that the A bomb site's open. So he just goes for the plant and again. Uh, you're not really there until what 30 40 seconds left on uh, when the bomb is down optic and then it's kind of go time they know they have to go and get that diffuse in simp he hasn't late pinched he does it in that round able to catch two yeah i mean the whole time i was just staring at it, it's like does he get there before they run through him you have numbers for a second they don't know when he's coming if they hit a couple seconds earlier and find a couple kills maybe that doesn't work out that way but simp gets there in time he goes eight and six, 11 and eight from our cities. Sim nearly with a crazy ace to win it in round nine, but he does get the dagger eventually. And who, I mean, this is a tough match from Dash. I didn't realize he's two yeah. and 10. He ends up actually dying in every single round. Only two kills, uh, 600 damage. Uh, not not a brilliant round out of our game field feature player. No, not at all. Not when uh, we know how expresses so many retakes and 4v4s and efficient trades right that's that's what we've kind of talked about with express uh there's at least a, a number of rounds with well, that 3v4 retake where they have the number advantage that's when they can go back and look at they should be able to close that one out because their trades aren't on point rc's and Celium, they win that one so a couple of individual plays and for dashi just a rough map yeah absolutely let's check out our u.s army tactical play it's going to be our cities uh make his plays i believe in round three as he was he was solid throughout he ends up with 11 kills but we'll check it out one more time um this is the this is the three he's able to get a little help on the third yeah just just a little bit of an off angle here waiting for the player to get pushed up again phases in a 2-2 split so this is all on our season of easy to lock this site down but it's kind of just one at a time. You don't really have a team push here. Scump's worried about the pinch. And RCC, here's a slide from Dashy. He's able to connect. And then, well, Formal goes for the trade. But Abizi's watching over him. Odd well, has a lot of experience together and a lot of wins there. They're able to chalk up another one. Phase celebrate the victory. Optic looking to bounce back. It'll have to happen in map three. We'll have raid control coming up after the break.
Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Scuff, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. Zenny, the official eyewear for the CDL. Armor your eyes with Zenny Block's blue light protection glasses by visiting zenny.com forward slash gaming. Welcome back. We get right back to it. It's the Gatefield Marquee match. It is Optic vs. Phase, and we're going to talk a little bit about Optic so far this year. And John, I'm just curious to kind of get your opinion. So we're going to talk about them versus top four teams and then versus the bottom four teams. Um, they have struggled mightily when playing against the top competition. Uh, they've been great when playing against the bottom. I think that logically for any team kind of makes sense in a way. Like, you know, you beat teams you're better than, you lose the teams that might be better than you. But do you think there's more to it with Optic right now? Um, I mean, it's just like, even throughout this match, I mean, there's just these key little moments that they just can't seem to, to find the, the success and turn it into momentum for them. In the game one, it's something like the, the trade on our season, and then he turns that into streaks. And in the game two, it's the four versus three retake. Uh, when they have the man advantage and it bomb is down and they have to retake it, that, that's the difference from maybe a more competitive map one. That's the difference from a round 11, right? Uh, it's just these key rounds. They can't give to the top teams or they'll take advantage of it. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I, that makes sense. Like the, the little mistakes you get away with when you're you're talented enough or you know, that much more talented than the team you're playing. But when you're on par or a team is better than you, those little mistakes, they punish you big time. 100%, yeah, it's those little mistakes against the bottom four teams you can get away with for sure. Well, let's see if they can clean it up here as we get ready for raid control. It's 10 and 2 for phase on the year, 11 and 5 for optic. It's kind of similar to the Moscow, like just really good maps for both teams, just a bit better for phase considering the year they've had. Yeah, 100%. I mean, you've played this 16 times if you're optic um, for Atlanta phase. They obviously have raid, they have garrison is there, you know, two control maps that they really play in. You know, Optic doesn't play a lot of Garrison Control there. I would probably like to play them on Checkmate, but that's just not going to happen with Vitos. No, it is not. Well, Scump is drilled down to 14 health, but able to stay up as they look to capture the zone. Envoy is chasing Selium, never a fun guy to chase. But, well, Scump gives a little help with a nice toss into the window. And this is a great opening break and should be the point considering. They only got one kill to take that. Yeah, I mean, Atlanta Phase were kind of setting up maybe to take heart. They're hoping the, the the player that was trying to get top laundry, that Envoy flanks, to find a kill or two on the point, and then that's when they can go. Maybe put them in that, that trap. But now you get into your, your sort of default position. You see RC is already all the way pushed up towards that back garage and where he's forcing the spawns. But you have three members from Optic here. Gashi's finding some spawn kills. Two players pushing up mid-stairs. Jump though. He's going to wrap back to help his teammates. And here we go, Optic. They're flying forward. 
Yeah. All right. Well, they fly forward and finally phase gets the kills to restart. Yeah. The, it, it, it's almost like, I mean, they got first point so quickly and there was such a little presence there for phase. I thought phase were like setting up a practice session on their holds at B. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's not usual that you get one kill to get a point, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, they're hoping, I think it was Sim going top laundry. If he finds one, then that allows the players middle of the map to, to go. Arsides probably pushes the flank, but he dies. So Arsides just backs up and so do the rest of the players. There's just not an opening and they don't want to risk it. And to, to be fair, how much have we talked about that the past few weeks? Just when you risk it for that first sight defensively, sometimes you lose the round in the next 30 seconds. They just want to play it a bit more cautious and they know they can, and it, well, any team, we've seen everyone do it at some point, you can hold this for two minutes. Absolutely. And they're showing it right now. Yeah, 100%. It's a, it's a singular objective. Get into your positions. Don't allow optic control kitchen. They haven't allowed that to happen. And, you know, you had a lot of time. You had a lot of lives. But now there's 40 seconds left in Atlanta phase. They've been so darn good since that moment. Yeah, I just don't feel like it's that often that it happens that, I guess, that quickly before you even take one shot at it, you know? Like, there's usually like mm -hmm. one attempted retake. They were like, nah, we're, we're good. We're, we're going to go get posted up. So that brilliant opening, or well, it's that really quick capture from Optic. It looked great, but now it's a five life advantage. Four phase, and time is dwindling. Only 10 seconds to go. Skump, really the last one in position, and he will drop. I don't even think they can get there in time now. Is it ends up being a really solid two minute plus hold from phase on the B objective. Yeah, you had the one instance where I what envoy comes all the way all the way back, Scump's able to find a kill. But then I, I think it was Simp or a BZ who, who finds a, a multi-kill right outside of money window, and they did that a couple of times. They just never allowed optics to get kitchen control when you don't allow that to happen. They can't push out quickly onto the point. Nicely done by Atlanta Face. Uh, is anyone working? Well, no, I mean, it's four in a row for RC is coming into this, so. A chance to get towards some streaks, but nothing crazy. A rough opening round from Formal as he starts out one and seven. Okay, he had a rough map one, too. Yeah, just like the start. Like, he, he's picked it up a bit as we got going, but. Not good starts in the response, and Selian wants to keep it that way. As he'll beam him across ringside. That'll get two now onto the point. Big one on one in Art will go the way of a BZ, so he'll be able to help out his teammate. And he the help comes in instantly. A BZ and RCs, that duo has had some amazing moments over the course of this match. They work together there well again. Second bit of progress done, almost the time extension. Now, this is one of those situations where they sent one player at it. The rest wrapped back to get in position, they, so they could be okay. I was a little bit worried at first when I saw the green arrows running over. They might get caught. Yeah, whoever pushed through it spawned Selly and Waterside. So that's why he's in this position. But Dashy just takes him down Ooh. as he's on a four spree. Regains bedroom control. I thought that risk may be a, maybe a bit of an overstep, but we're able to re retake this position. But now, middle of the map, you see it's our season sim flying on down. Formal's going to get caught off guard. It's a nice job by Envoy and Scum to respond. Yeah, poor Formal just cannot get anything going right now. There you go. He thought he, th thought he was tucked away in a bit of a corner, and it just gets red. That's three down. Formal's going to be the last guy up. Well, I guess he's got Dashy in the back. Sorry. Dashy now falls. Formal falls. This will open up the objective. Now they can focus on all the players spawning up. You still have one holding mid courtyard from Zig as well. Skump maybe giving them a little bit of freedom. The two subs on Optic get some big kills to get them off the objective. They're just trying to get inside of Tiki. If you get inside of Tiki, that's where you can really finesse your life. But then they go four dead right after that. They challenge the gunfight. You just need someone to slide into Tiki there and get a different angle. But Cell's able to stay alive, find another kill. Now you have three on the point. And all the positioning to work with, and Optics, they have to go. They gotta fly forward now. Nobody's gonna get there. The crosses are picked up. Phase. After the four down, it is capped quickly. Up 2 0 in the control. I mean, you did the hard point, right? Like, Optics yeah, yeah, no, got two kills to get yeah, him off of it. I, 
I R3 thought that he's, he's just locking down the middle of the map to make sure his teammates off a of spawn can get some map positioning. But Selium's the player you have to take down, and he's just tucked away in, in that corner. And instead of one player going inside of, of Tiki, there's an over challenge. In Atlanta face, they take that mid map position, they run away with the map. Well, a hold here will be a, another 3 0 in this matchup. Phase are close to doing it again. And that's three down opening. Formal, well, the one person that had a shot to keep it a little bit even, at least takes down two. It looks like they want to start to work to the other side. That's going to transition two phase players across. The guy to pick it up is going to be a BZ. Several phase players will fall. An opening here for a second, but a BZ only wants to close the door here from Tiki. I'm just waiting for Formal and Sion play. I, I thought they were going to go across towards A. It looks like they were waiting for Selium to show himself. Finally, he's going to be able to shoot, and maybe with that kill, they go back to A. But they're still just kind of hanging out around the middle of the map. They don't commit to an objective. Now it's just you have 40 seconds left. And you see number seven. Simp is the key player here. Because the transition is here, but what can Simp find? He could be the one to spoil this round, but not able to take one down. That's a really good job. By Scump and Envoy to stay alive, at least for now. But with 25 seconds, you see all the white arrows. They are soaring across the middle of the map. They want to end this right now. Yeah, how different is this from round one, right? Round, round one, they give it up and hold for two minutes. Not this time, not with that amount of time on the clock at a 2-0 edge. They want to end it, break the back of Optic. And that's exactly what they're doing. Look at the position of FaZe and everybody in gym and garage right now for Optic. You are just coming up the gunfights. And now it's going to be streaks on our cities, sitting at 13 and 6. What a series he has had. They don't have a shot to get to it. Time will dwindle in phase three of the control. They three of the series. They are simply too good. Yeah, I thought with Simp going down, they would just get on the point. But it's some more kill. When a kill goes down the middle of the map, you had Cell who was able to pick laundry side, and that's just the green light. That's boom. We're going to retake this now. We retake it. There's only 20 seconds left. I still have the artillery. They put them in that trap, and well, for Opti, they just could not get out of garage. Yeah, and I wonder if you're thinking, like, if you're Optic, like, our right, round one, once we got control of this, they gave it up and went for the long hold, and it was the exact opposite. You, you see, you, you called it, you saw the white arrows, just no hesitation, send it to the point. They want to close it out there. And probably, you know, knowing our city's has a streak, that might play into it as well. But, man, I mean, after they get the kills on the point, and when you looked at the minimap, Wait, you had like a player art, one holding driveway, one pushed up zig, and they, all the green arrows were literally just like by the doorway between Jim and Garage, like with 15 seconds to go. What, what, what in the hell are you supposed to do there? You don't. You lose. You, you yeah. Lost. I, yeah, that's what happens. You can't do anything. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, 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 we've had so many, I guess, like last second heroics, um, where you've seen teams pull off these crazy moments at the end of a control round, but like, when it, yeah, just look at the map. It's like I don't know. How do you get it done? Um, but unbelievable from FaZe. They continue right where they left off at the Stage 3 Major. Uh, Orsity is a stellar series. What, uh, 11 in the Search and Destroy. Uh, he got streaks in both of the respawns. Uh, BZ doing a BZ-like things, just being annoying and applying pressure at all spots in the map. But is Optic have absolutely gotten better, and we're all excited to see how far they can push it. FaZe is just still they're far ahead. Yeah, I mean, ninth sweep this season, the most in the CDL. 2-0 uh, start here in, in Stage 4. And what the only thing that looked off was just standoff search and destroy, uh, which I'm sure probably after this series, they'll probably play every single time. Uh, as we know, that's what they like to do to just to test things. But I think a key is, is they want to express, right? A, a map where they've struggled in the past, but they had nine repetitions on it. They showed some different things today. And, well, sometimes some individual plays bail you out, and that happened today. 100%. Uh, let's check out the scuff play of the game. It's going to be the end of that round two where, you know, I think with Scup and Envoy, they get the opening kills uh, to retake the point. It's looking good. And then phase do phase things. Yeah, I mean, it's just like that. That's the hard part because now phase, they, they can't play for it. But you see, so RC's is holding middle of the map so Sim can get set up. But it's this right after. How, how, what? You have nobody goes inside of Tiki. Sim gets a kill inside a kitchen and that just opens up the entire point.
mean, Tiki is the key there because if you have Selium taken down and you have someone inside a Tiki bar, even the players coming out of money, there's just too many angles to check. You're probably going to catch them off guard, at least trade one kill, you would think. But instead, it turns into a, a clean 3-4 dead for Atlanta face. Yeah, and at the same time, it's like if Scump wins that one-on-one, -on -one, you're probably all right. But the fact that, you know, he takes the fight, he loses it, and you don't get Tiki control, uh, it's kind of the first domino and things fall apart. But a look at stage four and how it has played out and how it will play out for Atlanta phase. They start out 2-0, as you said, wins over Legion and Optic. They got Surge, Thieves, and Rocker to follow. Um, look at that right now. I mean, there's no reason they shouldn't be perfect through this stage. Yeah, and then on the Opti side, you, it, you know, you win the first one, you lose a tough one there. It's kind of the same thing for me. Based on what we saw at Major 2, Paris is not in the best form yet. Uh, Seattle Surge, they looked better in the respawns for sure versus the LATs. They had to figure out that Surge and Destroy, and then LAT is just trying to get back into shape with TJ. This is an opportunity for Optic to, to get back into that winner's bracket for the for the next Major. And you know they want to, right? It's going to be on land. They, they want to start in the winner's bracket. Yeah, just looking at it, they, sh they should. They have a really good shot to do it. Continue to improve, get into winner's bracket, and then get back to land, and who knows what the hell happens. Maybe some things will shift, but it is going to be a victory there for FaZe. Uh, we're going to get ready to head to break. On the back side of the break, we've got Miles with Simp for an interview. You don't want to miss it. Call of Duty League is presented by Zenny, the official eyewear for the CDL. Armor your eyes with Zenny Blocks blue light protection glasses by visiting zenny.com forward slash gaming. USAA Renters Insurance. Level up your gear protection. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Game Fuel Victory Spotlight. I am joined by the one and only yeah, Simply Land of Phase. <laughs> Get out of the shot, we're trying to do an interview. Wow. Hey, hey really congratulations. My spotlight. This is my hard carry <laughs> Dude, congratulations once again on the 3-0. Um, Thank you. Dude, let's just go straight into this one. Uh, this is a, an exciting matchup to watch, obviously, our Game Fuel marketing matchup. Was this yeah. personal for you guys? Was this something you were looking forward to? What was the vibe like going into this? Uh, the vibe was really good today, actually. We had a really good warm-up scrim, which I think um, was really important for just our teamwork in general going to the match. So, I mean, always playing, you know, whenever you're playing the top team, it's always good COD, so we're super pumped to go into this, and especially a little bit more because of how our last match went. We wanted to show that, you know, server or not, we're, we're still the dominant team that we are. Dude, I love it. It was just a little personal. I like that. There's something special to carry in this matchup. Yeah, just, oh, just, your just a little hint of it, you know? 
<laughs> just yeah. a little hint of it. Uh, your teammates are incredible. Let's talk about uh, Arsties. Let's talk about Cell right now because we give a Beezy enough love. It's about time he shared the spotlight. Your guys went insane in Search and Destroy, man. What is it like being on a team like that when they're popping off, they're making plays, they're making the right calls? How easy does that make your job? Oh, I mean, my job honestly couldn't be any easier than it is now. I kind of just, you know, like th my entire team is nasty. And I'm not saying I'm not, but I'd rather them start frying everybody while I do the whatever, you know, whatever I need to do, I'll do. I'll let these guys fry all they need to because these guys are disgusting. I love teaming with these guys. You, it's, it's so good, man. Blessed, truly blessed to have such great teammates. Last question, dude. We've seen a lot of things on social media right now about your new home. What is it like being a homeowner? And have you learned anything strange or crazy now that you're, uh, now you've got your own keys to your place? Uh, definitely learned a lot with uh, kind of just you know maturing and responsibility because I'm not even 21 yet and still got a lot to learn left in life. So definitely a huge learning experience with my first home with my uh, girlfriend Jerica. But yeah, I mean just super excited to have it and actually have a place to like grow and just have friends over and not have to worry about anything. So it's, it's amazing. Uh, it's incredible, man. Well, congratulations on the house. Congratulations on the 3-0. Thank you. And we wish you the best of luck in the rest of the stage, mate. Thank you. One and only sip, ladies and gentlemen, of Atlanta Phase, a wicked, wicked series, and closing out the day. But we're not finished just yet, friends. That Game Fuel victory spot, it means one thing. But that means that after this commercial break, it's going to be me, Nameless the Study, breaking down the final moments of the day and getting you ready for the next week of games. We'll see you after this quick break. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty League. The day is done. The end of the Chicago home series and what a wonderful home series it was. For chills, thrills, spills, kills, etc, etc, etc. We're here looking at the schedule of that wonderful home series brought to you by the US Army. And it's all done. Three O's across the board, Jeez. including, of course, that Game Fuel marquee matchup. Again, Optic going down 3-0. 
for the current reigning champs Atlanta face. No massive surprises across the board otherwise. I think Empire could have seen a little bit more out of them and it could have been coming home in that first matchup. Uh, of course, Florida walking away with that one. But it's myself, it's Study, it's Nameless and we're going to walk you through the rest of the moments here uh, here in the headquarters brought to you by USAA. And Study, I noticed that little orange thing on your, on your shirt, brother. What is that? What's going on there and how come I don't yeah. have one? This thing right here, oh yeah, it's a poppy pin that was sent to me by USAA and it's just be able to support throughout the Memorial Day weekend, just for all of our military personnel, including my bird out there, who are out there just, you know, make, making sure that they are taking care of us back in the States, man. Just got to give a big shout out to them. We're always showing support. Shout out to USAA and the entire military branch for supporting us. I'll be in memory.com and of course that hashtag honor through action. We love USA. Thank you to all the veterans out there who are doing their part and those in active service as well. Now, let's talk about a little bit more uh, Call of Duty, my friends. Of course, we've saw some wild stuff today. Study, you've got some search and destroy tips to be dropping on us. A little bit of analysis, brother. You'll be talking about that last series. Give us the lowdown. Yeah, so between those two teams in our last search and destroy, it was great. Because on the early side for Optic, they started off just playing great search and destroy. Every single time they needed to 44 rethink, it was coming in. But as the game started developing, Atlanta phase with those mid-game adjustments started four hitting out certain areas. And in the very last round right here, they decided to put that pressure on towards lower B, cause all that havoc on that side of the map to allow Arsides to all the way by himself rotate to that A bomb site, get a free bomb plant, and then eventually work a 4v4 flank. And this is what Atlanta phase, they were able to do by making those mid-game adjustments. You see right here in this last round that they put so much pressure on B, gave the free plant up to A, that now the opening is for Simp, who's going to be able to hit across the catwalk, catches one kill, and eventually gets the second. And at this point, Optic, they have to look forward. They have to turn around. There are just way too many angles right here for Atlanta phase to just capitalize on it. And that's just one thing that they did throughout the entire search and destroy. You start off slow, you make those mid-game adjustments, and eventually, with just the pressure that Atlanta phase were able to put on the map, Optic were shook. They thought that once the noise was there, then that the bomb plant would be there, but RCD is the leader of this team, rotates over towards A, and makes the heads-up play. Yeah, and uh, what Optic didn't do there that most teams do do on defense is they try to trap them, right? So they give up, you know, they hold yeah. their flank while the other two players either push it out and go to the other side and pinch them into that command center, or, you know, they go through mid-map and they set up the same sort of pinch. But instead, Optic just gives up that area. They don't send anybody through there to try to set up that pinch, and Simp gets the free flank. And that happened two or three times where Simp got a big two-piece to win them the round. And, you know, you make mistakes like that, it's going to cost you when you're playing a team like FaZe. Like, throughout that map, I thought Optic had some really good rounds. It just really comes down to those huge two pieces that they were giving up to Simp in the few times that they left their back open. You can't allow players to get behind you, especially in the middle of the round like that. You have to cover all your bases before you set up your convergence onto the bomb site. Beautiful stuff out of Atlanta phase. And again, seeing that search and destroy coach certainly paying off. That investment has indeed. Look how yeah. good they're looking on the map right now. But they're not just looking good on the map, friends. They're also looking real good in the points. Those CDL points presented by Game Fuel. Oh, baby. Atlanta phase, they've got plenty of them. 360. And frankly, man, they're nowhere near finished. Now, this is where things get dangerous, fellas. We'll talk about these points. We'll talk about how important they are to accumulate throughout the year because we're only sending the top eight to champs. So you look at the difference there. That little bubble, oh, it's getting scary there boys i mean uh, do we have uh, here's a question here's a big one of all those teams there again we obviously have the top dogs really set in stone there but yeah for you i mean what are the yeah. bottom teams there who are the guys down low who you think can make that decent run into the majors and maybe even make it towards champs yeah, uh, I'll go first. This I, I think Surge to me looks like they have the highest ceiling. Looking at their match they played, Hardpoint was unbelievable. I mean, Pristini has kept it up uh, consistently over the course of the last few months. I mean, the guy in the beginning of the season he was terrible, and he's picked it up. And now looking at their roster that they have at this moment, their Hardpoint looks great. Their control, they were one moment with an advantage, by the way, away from winning that control, and they would have won the Series 3-1 at that point. I like the way that Octane's playing. He looks fantastic in their last match, so I'm going to go with Surge. I think they have the ability to do it. It'll just be if they can get it down consistently. It'll start with that control. Yeah, and for me, the team that I think can make a run throughout the later stages of the major, and Miles, you're probably going to be happy with this one, I'm going to go with London. And the reason okay. why is because they just picked up Afro. They also have re-added Alex to the roster and just watching them in that matchup in their first matchup throughout this week they were really playing well it was just those submachine gun players obviously they go all the way to a game five they weren't able to close it out but today was a completely different story 
Just this team is just so brand new that they have to work out their kinks in Search and Destroy. They have to learn how they want to play when it comes to those respawns because we know what kind of talent that they have between Alex and Afro. They're both playing at such a, a, a high pace with those SMGs that if they just learn how to play with each other and only being down 70 points from that Ave spot, I feel like they will be able to start chaining some wins together with just more chemistry in due it's time. Chemistry in due time and practice. It is possible. You're not wrong, mate. But again... Starting to get towards crunch time. We're starting to get towards the latter end of the year, and it's going to be very, very difficult indeed for these teams to make those points. Now, the only other teams you know playing at home, obviously they're playing for points. We're also playing for points, and we hope you're playing for points as well because the Pickums, friends, don't forget about the Pickums. If you haven't already, jump over to the website. But for us, as the talent crew, this one, I the chance day. is Asterisk. she's whooping us. Oh, you missed the I day, missed an entire oh, day, my. dude. Yeah. Sucks. Oh my god. Well, look, I mean, I'm I'm just about ahead of you. I had a couple of uh, stinkers, of course, the upsets we saw earlier on today. Lottie's having ah. a tough time, but there he is. That's my guy right there. The crown champ of the Pickhams this Congrats, stage yes. so far. Lovely, lovely works of chance. He looks good in the crown. He does, I must admit. But uh, don't worry, friends. <laughs> that crown is going to be coming home to someone else next time. But there we go, boys and girls. What a wonderful day of Call of Duty this truly has been. I mean, fellas, I, between the upsets, between everything crazy we've seen, I, I don't even know where to put this. Or I don't know where to put us now. Going into this major, we're going back to land. Can't wait. Still got a couple of weeks to play. It's going to be lit, friends. It's going to be lit. And I think that is it, though. We're done for the show today, boys and girls. I appreciate everyone's time here and patience. We had a wonderful run. The Chicago Home Series has come to an end. On behalf of myself, name of study, all the crew, everyone behind the camera, and those up in the clouds, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. The Ravens unable to really get anything going together, Chance. They're just so cut apart, individual plays. Streaks now for Neptune just to slow that side of the map. 20 seconds remaining, this could be it. I'm there, just frankly bullies to this point. Positive eight for Skies, positive eight for Havoc, positive whatever the hell for Neptune. And well awakening, struggling in this game greatly. Just kidding, fried that man and well, all oh. the kills going the way. Florida doing a little dance. Capping off this series win in a dominant fashion. Because if you're Empire, you've still got a shot here. You can hold. But you have to be efficient in the lives count. Now that's the problem. We talked about how efficient Toronto Ultra have been at trading. There is one of those moments, though, that doesn't happen. Vivid's able to catch two off guard. What inside he's going on a mantle, he probably doesn't mean to. But it's tough, right? Because how do you balance fighting middle of the map? in giving up lives the way they just did with maybe turtling up and well they try to get aggressive shots in crim but they get caught now it's four dead and now you have control of the point Toronto Ultra they're gonna win that one they're gonna 3-0 Dallas Empire they get right back to it but with 25 seconds you see all the white arrows they are soaring across the middle of the map they want to end this right now yeah, how different is this from round one, right? Round, round one, they give it up and hold for two minutes. Not this time, not with that amount of time on the clock and a 2-0 edge. They want to end it, break the back of Optic, and that's exactly what they're doing. Look at the position of FaZe and everybody in gym and garage right now for Optic. You are just coming up the gunfights, and now it's going to be streaks on our cities. Sitting at 13-6, and six. what a series he has had. They don't have a shot to get to it. Time will dwindle in phase three of the control. They three of the series. They are simply too good.
Rugby Spotlight friends, a sweet 3-0. We'll get his thoughts and feels on the subject. Until then, we'll see you, friends, after the break. <laughs>